Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we're going to learn how to change the default currency in a behavioral trigger block so you can send email recommendations using the currency of your choice. Let's navigate to Email Recommendations under Einstein. We are going to upload a new catalog containing new fields to update the currency from US dollars to British pounds. Let's click Catalogs under Admin. Then click Product Catalog. On the left, let's navigate to File Settings. A catalog has already been imported in this account, so the file settings should be correct. We can see, is it a partial catalog equal to true? This setting will update and add new items if they don't already exist inside the catalog. Let's switch to the file we would like to import and add the new fields. In this window, we can see three rows. The first one is the header containing the name of all fields needed, such as URL, name, and regular price. These fields will be mapped to a column inside the catalog. We'll review the mapping stage in a few minutes. The two records under the header are the value for each field, such as the name, URL, or regular price. Let's scroll to the right and add two new fields that we will call Regular Price Display and Sale Price Display. Now, let's add the value containing the regular price sale price, and currency we would like to display inside our emails. In this example, we will use British Pounds. Once everything is done, we will switch back to Marketing Cloud and upload the file we updated. Let's click Choose File, then Upload New File. This will take a few minutes for the file to upload. Click Map Your Fields. On this page, we will map the columns from our file with the columns from the catalog. We can see the two fields we created earlier in the Additional Fields section. We will leave them here for now and click Save. Let's wait a few seconds for the file to be fully imported into the catalog. Now that the file has been successfully processed, let's navigate to Content Builder under Content Builder. We're going to create a new email, which will display our new currency. Click Create, then Email Message. Let's select Basic 2 column for this example, then Select. You'll be asked to add a name. We'll call the email Einstein Behavioral Trigger. Click Next. We're now going to drag and drop the Behavioral Triggers block. The setting will open on the left. We'll review the setting later. So let's click on Done Editing. We'll add a subject, Welcome, then Done. Finally, click Next. On this page, you will need to select the data extension that is created when behavioral triggers have been enabled. In this case, the data extension is already selected. You can see on the left the column called Data, which is an encrypted value of the items abandoned by the user on the website. This column and value is needed to preview our email. Otherwise, you'll get an error while previewing. Now you can see two items on the preview. And if you look closely, you can see the currency is US dollar, which is the default currency. We will now update our block to display the currency we added inside our catalog. Let's click Add Content. Now, click the Behavioral Triggers block. The setting will open on the left. We can see that we can update the layout. For example, we can update the maximum number of products to display 
or the number of columns. In the Product Fields section, we can update the field displayed by the Behavioral Triggers block. Here we can see Image Link, which is the image being displayed, the product name, and the regular price, which by default displays the dollar currency. Let's add the field we created earlier. We'll click on the drop-down and select Regular Price Display. Now we will remove Regular Price. Let's click Done Editing, and then Next to preview our email. Our preview is now displaying the price using the currency we added inside our catalog via the file we imported. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.